we um, had moved about a year and a half ago, about a month and a half later, Sonny got sick. Um, he wasn't eating like normal. And then when I got home from work, he didn't greet me at the door. And that was a big red flag, like, what's up? You know, I went and found him and he's just sort of hunkered down and not his normal self. In the morning, we went on a walk. Everything seemed fine until we got back and I fed him his breakfast and he didn't eat anything. They did an x-ray, they found a mass. I took Sonny up to UC Davis. They were gonna do surgery on Monday as well, but on Sunday he started going septic and they had to do emergency surgery. It was a long, arduous affair, I'm told, by the surgeon and I, Dr. Raleigh. I can't thank him enough because I believe he saved Sonny's life that night. Just a really difficult time, but Sonny made it. It was a 50-50 surgery and a 50-50 through the ICU experience, but he prevailed. They did biopsies. They took a mass the size of like a grapefruit or something, I'm told. And then um, I came back for the biopsy um, diagnosis and they told me it was hemangiosarcoma. There was two types of cancer in the diagnosis. There was mass on that the cancer on his colon, which they said wasn't the bad one. The one on the spleen is the hemangiosarcoma. It's a blood lining. And they told me, yeah, without any treatment, he's looking at about three months since we had caught, caught it so early. But if he had treatment, there's more of a six to nine month window. And when I went back to UC Davis to consult with the oncologist, they felt Sonny was a good candidate for the chemotherapy and they blessed us with a grant because I really probably couldn't have afforded to do that. And so Sonny went through chemo. It was then that I found Just Food for Dogs. I had saw it at Pet Food Express, but I never really thought about changing it until being explained how cancer works and the need for a special diet. I'm so thankful that I found Just Food for Dogs for, for my sake too and just the quality he really seems to enjoy it too but i think it has been a big part of why he's still here yeah i think it's really helped him live to his 11th birthday which was on january 26. i had a big party for him and his quality of life doesn't seem to have diminished at all in fact i think his quality of life is amazingly upbeat I didn't have dogs growing up. This relationship I have with him is like nothing I've ever experienced. It's so pure. He loves me so much and I love him so much. It's that really unconditional bond of, you know, he's my little family.